didn't have a friend here to help me with the <laughs> Septuagesima, so I just modify it by going as deep as I can on my own. And the way that you're kind of uh, building an intensity into the deepest backbend, Kaputas, and I feel like now we slowly kind of back out of that intensity with uh, Supta Vajrasana. It's a backbend, but it's more about containment. And sort of counterpose, in a way. This is what I do when I'm home alone, unless I can shove my knees under some furniture. I could try to come all the way back. That finishes the backbending sequence until the end. Bokasana now, A. So now it's uh, coming more to strength, more to the front body after the backbending. And there's a lot of focus too involved in these poses especially when you have to jump in. The wonderful thing um, about Ashtanga too is that while some things may come easy, um, depending on your body type or, you know, what you come to the practice with, Usually you're going to be challenged at some point because we move in all directions and uh, we require strength and flexibility. So the way the asanas are stacked, we're going to be um, challenged at some point, no matter what. Vajasana, starting some twisting again, start to open up the uh, hips in preparation for leg behind the head. And here's another posture too, which can seem easy at first, but if you really go into it, if you dig for the work, then it can become really challenging. So for me, it's all about pushing with that uh, grounded hand on the floor and trying to get the twist into the thoracic spine. Ardhamatsayandrasana. Again, twisting to open up the hips in preparation for leg behind the head. being very good for the camera and not um, fixing my rug. Usually if there wasn't a camera on me, I'd fix my rug incessantly. 